What's up everybody? Welcome to the Modded Projects Garage and these are my motorcycle scooter things. All right, we have the 2022 Honda Navi with a partial 77 decals tricolor kit. Uh, we'll get into a, that in another video here. And then we got a 2023 Honda Grom. Both of these bikes are completely stock as of right now. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 2022 Honda Navi versus the 2023 Honda Grom and maybe help you decide what you want as a new rider like myself. So let's go ahead and get into the video. And again, first off, I want to say that I am a new rider. Uh, these are my first bikes, and I think a lot of people thinking about getting bikes like these especially like the Honda Navi are probably going to be new riders. So I have a real fresh first-hand experience in that. And that being said, let's go ahead and talk about price. So in the price category, the, the Navi is definitely the winner here. Out the door, my Navi costed me $2,230, whereas the Grom was $3,900, and that's both out the door prices. Now the Grom is definitely, go you're going to be getting more quality and luxury parts than the Navi, but if you're really set on cheaper price and nothing else, the Navi is definitely the way to go. Okay, second thing, comfort. Now both of these aren't really anything to brag about here. They each have their quirks. The Navi seat is absolutely atrocious and the suspension is almost non-existent. The front forks have very little travel and the back shock feels like a solid metal stake. But all kidding aside, it's stiff, but if you're on a decent road, it's not all that bad. But your butt will definitely get sore from that seat. And the overall riding position on the Navi definitely feels more like a scooter your feet are more forward and they're not back as opposed to the Grom, which we'll get into in just a second here. All right, so going back to the Grom, the Grom seat is an upgrade from the Navis, but uh, still can make your butt a little bit sore on some longer rides. And the Grom feels like it actually has some pretty decent suspension with the inverted front forks and a pretty decent rear shock. Going over bumps in a road is definitely more comfortable than the Navi. And the riding position of the Grom is definitely more sport bike like as your legs are more canted back as opposed to like sitting on a couch like the Navi's. But the Navi's seating position is still pretty comfortable to ride though. All right, so the third thing would be the gearbox or in the Navi's case, the lack of gearbox. The Navi has a CVT transmission, which is a continuously variable transmission. If you don't know what those are, you can Google it and find out more about how that works. But that is what makes the Navi just a twist and go bike. So there is no shifting on the Navi. Just hop on, twist the throttle, and you're off. And this was a pretty nice thing to have as a new rider, especially with like my first time in traffic. Um, it's just, I don't know, being on a bike in traffic for the first time was a little weird and it was kind of nice just not having to think about shifting and worrying about everything else. You could just watch the road and the Navi definitely just made that uh, as easy as possible for sure. And if shifting is not your thing, then definitely the Navi would be the way to go on that. All right, the Grom is a five-speed manual gearbox, so it has a clutch shift lever and the gearing is one down, four up. And if you've never driven a manual car before, something's going to be a little bit more of a learning curve with that. But um, for me, I like shifting through the gears. Uh, it makes driving more fun for me. But if shifting isn't your thing, then the Grom probably won't be for you. You're probably going to want to stick more towards the Navi. But if you do like shifting, the Grom definitely gets points here. All right, next up, storage. I drive this thing mainly to and from work. So having bought the Navi first, uh, I kind of became accustomed to the storage that it has. It has a decent amount under the seat and it has a really good sized lock storage bin underneath. So carrying a sweatshirt for my evening ride home when it gets kind of cold um, and I can fit uh, my lunch in there too, no problem with the sweatshirt and stuff and there's still plenty of room. But the Grom on the other hand basically has no storage whatsoever. Uh, there's a tiny bit like underneath the seat um, I just threw like a poncho in there just in case it rains or whatever when I'm coming home from work. 
But um, otherwise, I'll I'll have to bring like a backpack, which I have done. Um, so just have a backpack to throw my sweatshirt in or my lunch. But uh, the Navi definitely the Navi definitely gets the win here for me for the storage. The Grom is doable if you don't mind having a backpack. And the next category here is MPG. Uh, this is a real reason why I actually started looking at these. Um, I seen the Navi's MPG and the price and. I was pretty much sold on that. Uh, they advertised the Navi for 110 miles per gallon. And after driving it, the real world MPG for me is around like 75 to 85, which is still pretty good. And I was really surprised with the Grom. Uh, they advertised that at 165 miles per gallon. But the real world for me is uh, about 140, which is to me just crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, so realistically both of these bikes sip on gas and they're both great for gas mileage But uh, I definitely have to give the Grom the win on the MPG and another thing I want to bring up is fuel injection and carbureted So the Grom is fuel injected and the Navi is carbureted uh, Starting the Navi is definitely going to be more of a process when you're in colder weather or if it sits a while um, it's going to be a little bit more of a process than the Grom. The Grom's fuel injected, so I mean it's going to start up pretty easy no matter what. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. And top speed, the Navi, I believe the top speed is said to be 55. Um, I can pretty much get to 45 miles per hour anywhere, even if there's a, you know a little bit of wind. If it's really windy, I mean that might affect it a little bit, but I can pretty much hit 45 anywhere. If it's flat and there's no wind against me, I can get it to 50. I think the fastest I've had it was like 52 or 53, somewhere around there. Never hit 55, and that's going downhill. 45 to 50, I would say, for the Navi. Pretty reliable for me. The Grom, I have hit 60 miles an hour down a slight hill, and I still think there's more in it because I wasn't like redlining it out. But... Um, yeah, I can hit 55, no problem, anywhere. Um, 60, like I said, down a little bit of a hill. So, I mean, the Grom is 125cc, the Navi is a 110. Navi's auto, Grom, 5-speed. And that's another nice thing about the Grom is if you're going uphill, you can just downshift it to hold your speed, whereas the Navi, I mean, you're just pegged out. <laughs> Hoping it, uh, I mean, if you're if you're in them kind of, um, speed zones too you know so that's another thing to keep in mind is where you're going to be driving it um, styling personally I think both of these look really good for what they are um, the Navi is definitely more scooter but it looks more motorcycle than scooter to me I mean it definitely has scooter aspects to it but I think it's a good looking I think it's a good looking bike and the Grom definitely looks more motorcycle. Um, it looks a way more sporty than the Navi, I think. But um, like I said, I, I like them both. I think they both look good. And aftermarket stuff, the Grom is just, I mean, it's endless, really. There's so much stuff to buy for the Grom aftermarket-wise. And I think the Navi is going to be pretty similar. Um, the Navis have just been selling like crazy and... Uh, Vance and Hines, Yosh is starting to make stuff, and Man in the Box has a whole whole bunch of stuff for the Navi, and with how much they're selling, I think the aftermarket's going to blow up here in the next year or two, but that's just my opinion on it, but um, overall, I love both of these bikes. I don't want to I didn't want to sell the Navi when I bought the Grom, because my wife can ride the Navi, no problem, because it's the CVD, CVT transmission. Um, they both serve a purpose for me, and Whatever you go with, I'm sure you'll love it. Um, the Grom, Navi, I'm a big fan. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't already. And more videos will be on the channel with these two bikes. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.